Bonjour mes amis, je m'appelle Ryan. Aujourd'hui, j'ai regardé un film, c'est le samouraï. Uh, my college French aside, I'm here to talk about Le Samouraï, directed by Jean-Pierre Melville from 1967. The film centers around a contract killer named Jeff Costello, who was hired to kill the owner of a nightclub, and while doing that, he's spotted by the local piano player at the nightclub. He gets arrested, he gets interviewed by the police, all sorts of crazy things happen, his bosses turn against him, it just gets insane. The film really takes a lot of the idea of the Japanese story, the samurai, and a lot of the bushido, and tries to apply that in a bit more of a French style, with a lot more, I guess, espionage and, you know, your contract killer, you're hired to kill someone, but not quite in the same sort of way as a samurai, where I think uh, the character of Jeff Costello follows a lot less of more of an honor code and more of just trying to keep himself alive. There's a lot of really great scenes throughout this movie. Lot, for something from 1967, it's got a lot of really great action, you know? Uh, it's all because of the cinematography. The cinematography is unbelievable in this film. It is just, it's way ahead of its time. It has some unbelievably cool looking shots. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. The whole thing is just like, you want to keep going, you know? One thing I can't really talk about in this film is the acting and the writing because the film's in French and while I am okay at French, uh, I can read pretty good French, but I am not good enough at French to know whether or not someone is acting good or not in French, you know? So I won't be talking about that very much. Another really good thing about this film is the music. A lot of music at this time just serves the purpose of not boring you, but this this film really adds a whole other element to it. I can't really quite explain it, but it, it's really, the music's unbelievable. So a big idea of the samurai is that they're sort of solitary and they live by themselves, they do everything on their own, and then they're hired to do something. And that's really showing here. It, he feels really cold and calculated sometimes, but you still like him, like a samurai. One thing I want to discuss with this film is the fact that it's very, very French, in the sense that the character interactions are done very well, very tasteful. Meanwhile, in like a lot of American films at the time, a lot of the the character movements and like body posture and stuff feels very stilted in a sense, at least to me. I don't know about other people, but that's how I see it, you know? This does that very, very well. Another great thing about the film is the pacing. The pacing is so good. It is, it just feels, it's like, it's like a breeze to get through. It feels like nothing happened. I watched the film, it's an hour and 45 minutes long, and for me it felt like it was like an hour and 10. It really, it really just breezed by. This film has caused a lot of inspiration for other filmmakers over the years. Uh, I hadn't even realized, I never heard of this film until pretty recently when I got the DVD at Barnes & Noble. I just saw it, it looked really cool. But it turns out that uh, John Woo took a lot of inspiration from this film and some of his films. I think The Killers with Chai Yun Fat. What's really cool about this film is the ending. It ends really well. Uh, I see it out of coming out way out of left field. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, you're just going to have to see it yourself, you know? The biggest problem I have with this film is that I don't really dislike anything. I don't really have anything I can say that I don't like about it, you know? Well, thank you very much for watching the film. This has been 100 Days of 100 Films with me, Ryan, at Ryan Reviews. Uh, in the description, I'm putting some of my friends, my friend Isaac Taylor's YouTube channel, who just started doing this just like me, so if you want to check him out, uh, he's much smarter than me, he knows much more about films than me, so I'd prefer if you check him out. Also, my letterbox, his letterbox, and another friend of mine's letterbox is in the description as well. As well as the guy, my friend, Avant Garde Criminal, who makes my thumbnails. He's a really good artist, and you should definitely check him out and follow him. So, next week, I'll be watching... Fuck, why did I say next week? So, tomorrow I'll be watching... I'm going to watch Gamera, the Giant Monster. I decided to watch Gamera because... I feel like I've been watching too many, like, real films. And I just want to sit back and have some fun and watch a giant monster movie. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this very much. This has been Ryan at Ryan Reviews. I already said that. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. Follow everyone else who I talked about if you want to. And I'll see you tomorrow.